Why don't you have peace? This is an excerpt from my book, Untether Your Boat. Peace doesn't come from your circumstances. But if peace can't come from your circumstances, from where does it come? Our instincts tell us that if we could just get our enemies to leave us alone, we would be at peace. If we could just get the promotion. If we could just get control over our flesh. Because we see problems in our lives, and recognize, at least subconsciously, our lack of peace, we think if we can get rid of the problems, peace will come. I was arguing with someone about materialism once, and he blew my mind by explaining why people think money will make them happy. They don't have it, Micah. It's easy to believe the thing you don't have can make you happy because you've never had it long enough to find out how empty it is. The same can be said for any circumstance. If you're always at conflict, you think the conflicts are the cause of your peaceless life. But they aren't. In fact, some studies have shown that your peaceless life may very well be causing the conflicts. Just like salvation doesn't come from a lack of sin, peace doesn't come from a lack of bad circumstance. So where does it come from? Jesus is the Prince of Peace, and God is Jehovah Shalom, or God is my peace. We lack peace because we lack the source of peace. Peace can only come from a relationship with God.